Hello everybody, it's Aiden or Dory LEGO Studios and welcome to episode 2 of Building the Sorgan in LEGO. Um, so in today's video, basically we're just be doing a ton of prototyping. Um, we're going to pick the plan. If you didn't see in the last episode, I proposed two plans, um, plan A and plan B, um, on how I can structure this mock and how I could do the layout of this mock. One was a vertical concept, one was a horizontal. Um, so I'll be announcing which one I'm going to be picking um, out of those two as was voted on by many of you guys in the comments and I actually read all of the comments on that and there was a huge majority just let me say that um, I actually think one of the plans didn't get a single vote but anyways there's just going to be a lot of prototyping in this episode and a lot of actually very crucial decisions on what um, direction I'm going to be taking this mock is going to be taking place in this episode um, so yeah anyways let's go ahead and get into it and you guys can be sure to weigh in on some of the questions that I'm going to propose um, in the comment sections as that would really help but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the video now. All right guys, so now getting into the building segment. Um, first of all, I'm just gonna announce what plan I made. Um, if you don't remember from the last episode, I definitely recommend checking it out as this mock will make a lot more sense. If you go ahead and check out the last episode of Building Sorgan and Lego, um, I'll be sure to link it in the description possibly and it will probably be suggested to you in the sidebar or in the cards. Um, but anyways, I brought up the idea of two plans. One was a horizontal plan and then one was a vertical plan. Um, as you can probably tell, I ended up choosing to do the vertical plan, um, which was plan B. Plan A did not get many votes in the comment, let's just put it that way. Um, plan B was voted for by you guys pretty vastly. Um, there's a very vast majority in there. So I just figured that it's what you guys want and you guys brought up some um, pretty good points. Like some people said, the battle felt more vertical in the show than it did horizontal, which was something that I hadn't even thought of. Um, and a lot of you guys wanted to see the huts. Um, so it's, I figured let's just go ahead and get into the prototype I have for the hut walls. Um, yeah, again, this is a prototype, so these colors are not final at all, and they never will be as there's no white on Sorgan really. Um, but anyways, I just added a minifigure in here for height comparison. I'll just set this down so you can see um, how tall this actually is compared to a minifigure, which is kind of accurate to the show. Um, but anyways, I'll go ahead and show on the screen for you guys what these Sorgan huts look like um, in the village. And then we can take a look at this prototype. So the difficult thing about the um, Sorgan huts is that they curve around to the side and then they curve over the top and they curve under the bottom. Um, so what's difficult about this is Lego is basically based upon a uh, square or rectangle system. So this makes it difficult because that's just not a natural shape in Lego. Um, but anyways, what I remember from Camino that I ended up doing was the same thing as the pillar design, RIP Camino. Um, but anyways, it is using some of the hinge plates um, and then putting some of the one by four modified bricks with four studs on the side. Um, just to hold the plates together. I'll probably do another row around this um, to up towards the top as this just really isn't that sturdy at the moment. Um, it's very fragile and can break apart really easy if you can see how much I can bend this back at the moment. But then anyways looking at the plates that it connects to, um, it's actually too thick on the smaller um, sides that way there's just more of a natural angle and shaping to the overall build um, instead of just having like sudden like if I would have kept it where it was just one plate back there, this would be just over here and that would have looked very, um, just like not pleasing to the eye or unnatural. Uh, but then anyways, I have one by two curved slopes at the top. Uh, of course, it's not gonna be in white in the final mock, it'll be in like dark brown or reddish brown, um, along with every other part you see on here most likely. I just, it's a prototype. So I don't have the official colors or the final colors that I'm gonna be using on this. Um, but yeah, anyways, let me know what you think about these walls. Um, it's just, I need to figure out the walls uh, before I start building up. Um, Cause there's kind of like two more parts of the roof, I'd say. Um, there's like a circular, like small, bigger, larger, um, but like very gradual slope, sloped um, cone right here. And there's like a spire at the top. Um, the spire is gonna be the easiest part out of all of this. Um, but I just need to figure out the wall design before I get into any Thing else to that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that I'm prototyping, which is the grass by the ATST Raider. I'll go ahead and show a reference picture on the screen right now. But anyways, if you look, the color changes actually, uh, and the type of plant changes from the front to the back. Um, 
If you see, it's kind of more of a like shorter, pricklier um, grass in the front. And then that just moves into a taller, more pointy grass in the front. So what I'm gonna be doing for that, or what I'm thinking about doing, so be sure to leave your uh, thoughts and opinions down in the comments on any of this stuff um, for sure as I'll be looking at all of it, is using the, so what I'll be doing is using the flower stems um, in the front and just gradually sloping those up as you can see I've done here. And then moving into like the um, more taller, uh, I guess you could say foliage parts. So if you see here, we have one of the more like prickly bushes right over here. And then moving into some of the palm tree leaves stacked behind that. And then there's this weaving technique that I create um, used to create this bush. Uh, so I think it's a very interesting technique and I'm interested to see what you guys have um, to say about that. And then right here we have, I guess they're called like stalks um, in olive green. So just let me know what you think about using those two colors and like if I should swap them, or what you guys think about the plant usage and if it looks accurate to in the show. But yeah, anyways, moving on to the third thing that will be prototyped. Um, we got this and then one more thing to go. This would be the pond shape. Now I'm gonna get an aerial view of this and show you an aerial view of it in the show as a reference picture. But if you look at the actual village's um, circular shapes, so all the ponds are like um, moving around in a circle, but they look square in the show, which is kind of odd to me. So what I figured I'd do to show that like curving um, sort of angle is to use wedge plates. Um, that would, what I do is raise these wedge plates up and then just put studs underneath so it would just look normal and it would just look like it's curving um, and just fit right into the terrain. Or I could just go straight across where I just have the normal bricks uh, as a rectangle. And the only difference about what this would allow me to do um, is I could just experiment more with using tiles instead of just studs. Uh, as you see, I tried using right here to see if tiles would fit, which they would not because there's a, like an awkward gap right here. If you can see that, I don't know if you guys can on the camera as well, um, but it just would look awkward, especially if I end up bringing it to a convention, which is a whole nother thing to talk about um, for another day. But anyways, yeah, just let me know if you guys think I should go for the wedge plate design. Um, of course, this would be the final placement as it's probably too symmetrical as it's just randomly placed in the show and the ones by the ATSC are rather large as that's the whole reason that the ATSC is able to step in and just fall down um, in the show. And then the last thing that we'll be talking about or quote unquote prototyping today is the color scheme. So I'll go ahead and show another reference picture again up on the screen um, so you guys can see what the terrain looks like. So I have two of the green colors I'm thinking about using which is sand green and olive green. Now, personally, I think olive green is the way to go. Um, it just looks a lot more natural. It looks a lot more like it does in the show. However, if like, it's a resounding majority in the comments, I may switch it over to, um, using sand green. However, I think you guys will like the olive green look of it better. Maybe throw in some dark green, um, some reddish brown, some dark brown in there, just to get a larger variety and mix the colors. And then, of course, this wouldn't be how the final terrain would look. I just wanted to see how different um, pieces over here would look um, upon the dark tan terrain and just see how sand green mixes with dark tan, which in my opinion, um, at least if I'm doing this type of landscape, it doesn't mix that well. It just looks kind of awkward to me and just doesn't really work. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up the video. So wrapping up the video, um, I'm just gonna do another reminder to comment down below what you think of the grass design and what I should do for that, or if you guys have any um, other suggestions or what part of it you like or you don't like. Um, also be sure to comment down below what you think of the pond design on whether I should use the wedge plates or just keep it straight on, I'm just going straight across the mock. And thirdly, um, let me know what you think about the hut design, as that is very rudimentary still. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Um, and then fourthly, I'm gonna need to figure out a color scheme um, between sand green and olive green. I'm really leaning towards the olive green right now. But be sure to let me know what you think about that in the comments. Um, that way I can see what you guys think looks the most um, like it does in the show in episode four of The Mandalorian. But anyways, I'm Andor Lego Studios. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of Building Zorgan and Lego. And I will see you next time. Bye.